In this tutorial, you will need the following. Pliers to strip and twist cable. A communication serial cable. Note that all bus cables will need to be shielded two twisted pair with each wire half a millimeter squared cross section area. UV rated protection is recommended for external use. Wire ferrules and ferrule crimper to crimp the ends of the cable. To ensure strong ferrule crimping, select the smallest diameter that fits the wire and use only professional crimping tools. A knife, a 2.4mm flathead screwdriver, a 24 volt DC rated at 1.7 amps power supply, a Cat6 Ethernet cable, and lastly a Blue Log X series device. Inside the Blue Log box, you will find data sheets and instruction manuals, the Blue Log device, and a Category 5E Ethernet cable. Mount the Blue Log device onto a DIN rail. Release the two rail latches located on both ends of the device. Place the Blue Log onto the DIN rail and secure it by pushing the latches up into the lock position. With the knife, sheath the length of the insulation layer on both ends of the cable. With your wire strippers, strip all ends of the wires. In this example, we will use the blue pair to connect to our serial input. We will use the orange pair to connect to the ground. Now twist the orange pair together. And the blue wires individually. With your ferrule, crimp each end of wire and test your crimp by pulling on them. Now we are going to feed one end of the communications cable into the blue log. Always use serial port 1 first, as this is important to note when configuring your devices. Of the blue pair, take the solid core and terminate it into port A and the striped core into port B. Then terminate the orange pair into ground. The drain cable will be terminated on the inverter side. Test the strength of your terminations by tugging on them gently. To ensure solid connection, we recommend tying the cable to reduce the strain on the terminations. This video will feature how to connect a solar irradiance and temperature sensor. For demonstration purposes, we will mount our sensor on the test wall. In a real scenario, you will do this next to your solar panel array. To maintain tidiness and maximum shielding of the cable, we recommend using a DIN rail screw terminal to provide connection to the power output located on the bottom of the blue log. Connect the red wire into the positive and the black wire into the negative terminal. From the sensor, connect the power, that is red and black wires, into their respective DIN rail screw terminals. Always start from input 1 for convention. Then connect the irradiation, that is orange wire, into multi-input 1, denoted as MI1. And connect the temperature, that is brown wire, into multi-input 2, denoted as MI2. Finally, connect the drain cable into ground.
Connect the power supply into the power input located at the bottom right corner. Observe that there is power indicated by the green power status LED on the top left. The system will boot up for approximately 2 minutes. When ready, it will be indicated by the system status LED in the middle. Now, connect the blue log device to a local area network. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable into a switch and the other into the LAN port of the blue log. Successful connection is indicated by the blinking LEDs on the LAN port.